welcome to a new weekly vlog. How well, exciting! Made you paranoid about the arm thing. Yeah. No, and I looks how's waving. I know, but you kind of. I didn't go like that like I normally do. Yeah. Welcome to a new weekly vlog. How Ooh. exciting! This one is number seven, I think. Seven. Seven. Yeah, it's number seven. <laughs> so I'm gonna um, schedule a couple of posts, then go eat tea, then start editing tomorrow's vlog because I can't do it all tomorrow because. It's pancake day okay. tomorrow. I, I so I'm on pancake no duty because I make amazing pancakes. You do, girl. But yeah, so, oh no, it's pancake day tomorrow. We're going to have to eat an absolute metric shit ton of pancakes. Oh no, oh no. Yeah. it's such a hard life. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to start editing it tonight. So I've kind of got more time to make and eat pancakes tomorrow. Um, I actually put a pancake recipe up on my vlog yesterday. Subtle hints. So, Go check that out. Although when you watch this, it'll have been past pancake day. But who says it has to be pancake day for you to eat pancakes? Eat be, them all year round. It can be pancake day every day in your heart. Yeah, too right. It is in my heart. Every day is pancake day. Oh, I wonder what I wanted to tell you. Um, I've been using that, I said in the last vlog, that I'd started using the Clinique. No, I keep saying it's Clinique, it's not, it's Clarins. The Clarins um, Lotus oil thing for my face and oh my god it's amazing like it smells incredible my skin is so much nicer like it's brighter and it's like keeping spots away and honestly i've now found my like complete cannot live without skin product it's absolutely incredible so i've been using that after on a night after the um lizelle cleanse and polish and i think it's like my uh sort of that's now my thing. So that's good. So we're gonna go to bed now. Good night, happy Monday. See you tomorrow. It's pancake day tomorrow. Ah! Ah! I'm so excited. I love pancakes. Good night. Happy Tuesday. Um, so I've just come home and the Santa floor in Joe's bathroom is broken. And basically what that means is, um, backstory, Joe's bedroom is partly underground, so um, I don't know how to explain it without showing you. I'll kind of show you, look. You see up here there's a window. Well, the top of the wardrobe is actually level with the floor outside. So we're sort of like, sort of below ground, but not totally underground, but mainly below ground. So obviously because we're underground, normal plumbing rules don't apply. So in Joe's bathroom there's something called a saniflor, which is like sort of an underground plumbing system thing mockery but Shambles. It's, it's prone to breaking and it has it's not broken for ages no but it breaks more than regular plumbing does no regular plumbing breaks quite frequently it's just that if this breaks then your life's over so basically it's broken but that's what controls the toilet the shower and the sink in Joe's bathroom so we have no shower we have no toilet and we have no sink, so we're going to have to use Jo's mum's bathroom, which is fine, except her shower's sort of broken too. Um, it's usable, but the shower tray fills with water really easily, and because my hair's so thick and I need to leave conditioner on it for a while, I can't wash my hair in it because it fills up too quickly for me to be able to wash my hair. So <laughs> Got the hair bed, you? So it's a nightmare. So um, luckily, I'm going home tomorrow night, so I'll be able to shower at home tomorrow night. But my hair is actually really, really greasy, and really could have done with a shower tonight or tomorrow morning at the latest. So I think you still look beautiful. Thank you. I'll have to cake it in dry shampoo tomorrow at work and pray no one notices. Um, but I can still sort of wash myself, which is a plus point. Yeah, this isn't as bad as. So it's not as bad as when the hot water went off and we literally couldn't shower. Yeah. Um, but you know. Worst things have happened, so at least I'm going home tomorrow, so that's fine. Um, what was I going to say? Parcels, that's what I was going to say, I've got some parcels. So I'm going to show you said parcels and then I'm going to go shower and cry. So what I got was a parcel from ASOS and also a parcel from the lovely peeps at Coconut Lane. I'll tell you more about them in a minute, I'll open the ASOS parcel first because this is the dress I've bought. Let me move the camera a bit. This is the dress I've bought for um, Valentine's Day because me and Joe are um, staying in a hotel and Ooh. we're going out for a nice tea because it's Valentine's Day and it's also the day after it's our seven year anniversary. Happy Valentine's so Day! I've ordered a dress and like I was saying uh, when I ordered it the other day, 
um, it's actually like quite tailored on top so I'm worried it won't fit because I have quite big boobs so I sometimes struggle with dresses that have like tailored tops so I will open it and I will show you sort of what it looks like it's like a black skater dress because skater dresses really really suit me yeah. it's just something about the shape and then the top you really can't tell because of the light that's annoying the top is like a little bit tailored down the front I'll leave a link to the dress in the description box just so you can see it and if I like it I'll show you it on but if not it will never see the light of day so yes that was that the next one is from coconut lane which is a really cool little company that I am now an ambassador for um, and they do jewelry and phone cases and like quirky prints and like all sorts of really cool stuff like that so they've kindly sent me some things um, and I'm also getting a print as well which is really cool so I'll show you that when it arrives I don't think that'll arrive until next week though so bam 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 get out that's everything I'm prone to leaving things in parcels so I always have to check they've also sent me a £5 gift card and I've just had to edit the bit out where I show you it because it's actually got a code on it that you use to redeem the gift card so yeah I've got a £5 gift card that's not very very kind of them thank you guys so I got rings and earrings yay I love jewellery so I got this ring which when my camera focuses on it you'll be able to see it properly it's like an arrow and it's adjustable so you can wear it as a normal ring or a midi ring so that's cool, that's cool. this one is also an adjustable one and it's like some sort of foliage of some sort if you can see it's like a what are them things that are called that they wear on the heads in ancient Greece the leaf things oh, it's like a laurel or something yeah it's like that sort of thing so that's nice as well I think that might look nice on my thumb it's a crown focus focus on the crown the crown what? focus on the there we go it's so cool like a crown ring and then I got the cutest little earrings not that I ever actually wear earrings because I'm rubbish and they always like heal up I really like that but right stay stay there stay like that there we go focus on the cute little earrings the elephants look they're the cutest little things Elephants are my absolute favourite animals as well, so it's always nice to have jewellery with them on. How cute are they? They're actually really tiny as well and I quite like little tiny delicate earrings sometimes. So that's nice. So thank you Coconut Lane. I will Instagram all about these, like, loads and loads. Because I actually have a 20% discount code for Coconut Lane because I'm now an ambassador. So I'll leave that in the description box, I can't remember it off the top of my head. I feel like it's... It's either Rihanna 20 or Robocop 20. Um, so I will, I'll leave it in the description box. If you want to get some like nice stuff for yourself, there's 20% off. Mm. So you cannot uh, go wrong. Check me out already uploading the vlog at 20 past 8 on a Tuesday. How good am I? I usually, I'm still, I usually haven't even started editing it yet. But I edited it last night. And now I'm uploading it. I don't even usually upload it on my lunch break on the Wednesday and pray that I don't have too much work to do. <laughs> Seeing as that's the day it goes up, Wednesday's at six, in case you knew. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, look, look at me, uploading. Woo, gurry, gurry. Oh, I have no idea what you were doing then. I thought you were like filming yourself really close up. No. I didn't realise you were I can't be bothered taking it off the tripod because we're going to be uh, making... Pancakes. Pancakes soon. Because it's... Pancake day! Pancake day! Yeah, stop. Check me out. Oh, that's very bright. Oh. <laughs> Just um, finishing off editing the description box and stuff for my video for tomorrow 
Um, and my camera is dying, so I'm going to sign off for the night and stick it on charge. We made smoothies for so, tomorrow as well. We did make smoothies for tomorrow. Check us out and have flipping preparation skills. Um, so I'm going to have tiny tea and I'm going to finish off all the stuff for this video. So happy Tuesday. I can't believe it's hump day tomorrow already. Today's going, today, this week's going crazy quickly and I'm so happy about it. So yeah, um, I'm very, very full. In a very good way. Happy pancake day, guys. Evening! Oh, I did the arm thing again. <laughs> I never noticed how often I do that. I go, good evening or good morning. Um, I don't know why I do it. I just do it. Anyway, hello. It's Tuesday um, and I am at home for the next few days. Which, I do really miss Joe when I'm not home. But it is really nice to be here. Like... I'm with my rubes and I'm having a pizza and I was going to have a bath but I need to wash my hair and I don't like washing my hair when I have a bath bomb so I'm going to have a shower in the morning and have um, a big long bath where I don't need to wash my hair tomorrow night so yay! Um, so this is just like a quick hello I'm home and then now I'm going to go because my pizza's ready. <laughs> Thursday today and I am um, all showered and just had my breakfast and I'm just about to set off to the doctor's because I've got a doctor's appointment um, because I need some more of my uh, anti-acid reflux medication and I think it's like a sort of checkup after my endoscopy the other week so but after after I'd had it they'd said that there was nothing abnormal so I'm not really expecting anything at all other than here yeah, you're just gonna have to be on these meds forever now have fun with that so that's that's great um <laughs> so i'm not uh then i'm going straight to work from the doctors Um i was going to bring my camera with me and vlog after the doctors but i don't think i'm going to bother um because it's just another thing to put in my handbag for work so i think i might just do this little intro and then i will speak to you again tonight when i finish work um yeah yeah my hair's gone really funny today i don't know why my fringe isn't like doing what it normally does and it's it's strange I don't really know what's happening like look this little bit it's like it's weird I don't know why it's doing that it's annoying me um so yeah I need to go walk up to the doctors which CBA <laughs> but I don't have a car so walking it is Evening everyone, um, so I've been back home a few hours now, I've just had some tea um, and yeah I've been at work and at the doctors today and the doctors went fine and um, the endoscopy was definitely 100% clear which is good news um, but it just means I've got to be on these medication now for, well forever I guess, until, unless it just magically goes. So, um, But that is best case scenario really so that's good news. Um, been at work for the rest of the day it was fine I got into work and they'd like moved around all the desks so like the office looked totally different and I was like bloody hell like I knew they were moving people around but I didn't know they were actually moving the whole office around so I came in and I was like what is going on <laughs> like so I've moved desks um but on the plus side I actually have a better desk than I did before so that is good um but like I'm still I don't know, it's like, it's hard to put into words and I don't really want to go into it too much because I feel like I might cry and I don't really want to cry. Um, but I'm just feeling a bit poo at the moment. I just feel a bit, well like last night, like I felt a bit sad, like I'm like that now, like I just, there's no real reason for it and it's just, it's a bit, just a bit draining if I'm honest. It's like, over the past few days it's just been like there and it's just it's just it's making me very tired um and it's making me very sad and i don't really know how to get rid of it because this doesn't happen very often because when i was diagnosed with anxiety they also di 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 they also anxiety me <laughs> they also diagnosed me with um minor depressive disorder which is sort of like depression but it's not full blown depression 
um, and they kind of put it down to being like a sort of offshot of the anxiety like I have anxiety and because of that I sometimes have sort of periods of, of depression but it's not full-blown depression if that makes sense um, which I guess I'm a little bit thankful for in a way because only having these small bouts of it I can't imagine what it would be like to live with it all the time like it's hard enough living with, with anxiety but I can't I can't imagine it but I think at the same time because I don't get it very often when I do get it it's a real kind of hit to the system because I don't really know how to cope with it because it's not a constant thing so yeah I always want to be really open with you guys and I always want to be open about my mental health because I feel like it's really really important to be open about things like that because like for example when I opened up about it on my blog I got quite a few emails like asking me what people should do and asking for advice and thanking me for being so open and the reason why I went and got help was because someone I knew was open about their mental health so I kind of I like to be very very open about it and I like to be very blunt about it and I like to include everyone in it really I guess and um, but sometimes it is really hard and often I'll be able to sort of push the sad feelings away when I'm with Joe because it sounds really corny but he does actually make everything a little bit better and he makes like he takes my mind off it so it's a bit sad when I'm not with him um, because it just kind of makes the whole situation a little bit worse so um, I don't want to cry so I'm gonna go for a bath because um, I don't really know what else to do <laughs> so I'm gonna stick on a Disney film and have a really really long bath and probably a nice long cry and <laughs> just hope that it only lasts a couple of days um, so I'm sorry that this is a bit of a kind of sad middle to the video but that's life I guess <laughs> can't always be sunshine and rainbows um so yeah thank you for listening um i just want to kind of take this sort of moment whilst i'm on this sort of somber sort of, like topic that if any of you do ever ever like need to talk to anyone about anything um give me an email give me a tweet give me anything and i am there and i will <laughs> encourage it because talking does help um, and yeah, uh, I don't really know what to do or say. I think I'm gonna cry, so I'm gonna go. Hello, hello, hello! It is now Friday, and I couldn't be happier right now because it's the weekend, and I have a three-day weekend this weekend. So, yay! Um, I'm a little bit happier than I was yesterday. Apologies for my little, like sad rant last night um i'm a little, feeling a little bit better today i had a really nice sleep last night and a nice bath and i've got a lot to look forward to this weekend so i'm in a much better mood um tonight it's just me and my mum because dad and ethan are both out in fact you might be able to hear ethan's getting ready music not sure um <laughs> so it's just me and my mum tonight so we're gonna order a takeaway drink some gin watch some chick flicks so it'll be really really lovely and i'm really excited because i very rarely get to spend time just me and her so it'll be really nice um so i'm not gonna really vlog much tonight because i just really want to spend some time with my mum morning everybody it's saturday now and it's been a while since i've vlogged in the car um, i've just got to the salon and i'm going to get my eyelashes done um, so I thought I'd just say hello before I went in and this is my eyelashes before like look at my eyelashes now <laughs> and I'm gonna get them, I'm gonna go get them done now so I'll be gone maybe an hour or two and then I will come back and show you how amazing my eyelashes look and then I'm going to see my nana for a little bit and then we're going to um, Hobbycraft then we're going I'm going to get my nails done then we might go into Ikea so it's a really busy day um, so happy Saturday and I'm gonna go get my eyelashes done so I've had my eyelashes done and I thought it was going to take a lot longer than it did. My friend Katie, we've been friends since, oh my god, how old were we? I think we were only about four or five when we first became friends. Um, she's now a beautician and does eyelashes and nails and she's fab. And um, she's actually Nouveau trained and because I'm part of the Nouveau Lash Gang, um, they've very kindly paid for me to have my lashes done so I can review the lash remover. Um, and I thought, because if you have a look, they're like individual sort of lashes but they last a while and I thought they were what I had done for my holiday a few years ago which are semi-permanent lashes but these are what are called the express lashes so they only last about I think she said they last about a week to two weeks depending on your routine 
Um, so they are good, but like they don't they don't last as long as the semi permanent ones. But they look gorgeous, like I absolutely love them. So I've got these done so I can look all lovely and pretty for Valentine's Day tomorrow and I'm going to take them off with the remover and review it for you guys. So yeah, look how freckly I look. I don't know why I look particularly freckly today. <laughs> how strange. I like it, I like having freckles. So I'm back in the car now. I've just been to see my nan and it was really nice to see her because I haven't seen her in ages. Um, and we're really close, so it was really nice to see her. She's so funny. Um, and now I'm in the car and I'm on my way to get my nails done. Um, and I just needed to tell you a story that I forgot to film because it was so exciting that all I could do was whip my phone out and get a photo. I didn't even think to whip out my camera and film it for you. I met Kevin. <laughs> And I don't think I was vlogging when my Nana moved house. Um, she moved house a little bit before Christmas and um, it was it's the same sort of town that she's living in. It's only really just down the road from where she used to live. But it's like a different area. It's called Foxholes and it's in Carveley in Leeds. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this. When we, when she moved in, we had loads of help. She has some really lovely neighbours. So we had loads of help from the neighbours when we were moving her in. And um, one of them said to us, if you see a peacock, don't be like freaked out, that's Kevin. So I was just like, what? Like, is it someone's pet? Does it live in like fields near? And he was like, no one knows. No one knows where Kevin has come from. Kevin is a peacock that lives on my Nana's street and he wanders about the street and he wanders about people's gardens and people like leave food out for him and he's called Kevin. <laughs> and, um, it's been months since she's lived there now and I'd still never seen Kevin. So I was starting to kind of think that the neighbours were like pulling my leg a little bit and I was being really gullible. But today... <laughs> Driving home from my Nana's house, lo and behold, I saw Kevin. I'm going to put a picture in here to show you. Um, I saw Kevin and he exists. He's a street peacock. He lives on my Nana's street and he just wanders about but he only ever comes out in the sun. He doesn't come out if it's raining because he doesn't like the rain. And he he exists! Kevin exists! And he lives on the street and I forgot I didn't even tweet to film him, I just whipped my phone out and I had to get a photo and put it on Twitter. Um, so what I'm going to try do is I'm going to try go to my Nana's again soon and see if I can get some video footage of Kevin for you because he was just, he was amazing, he was huge! So yeah, what a day! What a day! So now I'm on my way to get my nails done and then me and Joe are going to head over to Ikea. So it's been a very exciting day! I can't believe Kevin exists. I can't. It's crazy. Street peacock. Hello! Um, it's now evening time and I didn't vlog in Ikea. I'm very sorry if you anyone... I chickened out. Didn't you? I chickened out. <laughs> what a coward. I didn't. Oh, it, was, it wasn't even that busy, but it was busy. And I didn't want to. I felt like someone was going to come and tell me off if I was filming in Ikea, so... <laughs> I didn't. Maybe next time, because we will be going back soon because we need to go buy furniture because today we were just looking. So maybe next time I will pluck up the courage to actually film in there. Um, but yeah, we've been to Ikea and then we nipped to Asda as well to get some wine and stuffs. Um, so we've just got home and I have parcels. No surprises there. Shocker. So I'm going to open them for y'all so you can see because I always get loads of really nice comments on my vlog saying, oh my god, I love watching people open parcels. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why, but to be fair, I kind of like watching people open parcels as well. I'm sorry I sounded so surprised then. Why? <laughs> like, you should get loads of lovely comments. I do get loads of lovely comments at the moment. It makes my absolute day. Um, so I'm going to show you what I got. I feel like my parcel opening should have a jingle now. Like, Rihanna's parcel time. Do -do -do. So, the first thing I got is this. I need to get it in camera. This is a Grey's box. You can tell because it says Grey's on it. But <laughs> this isn't just any Grey's box. They have surprised me with this. They've sent it to me as a surprise. And it's a, a whole box of Rihanna's favourite snacks. And this is pretty much the cutest thing I've ever received in the post. Look, look, look. Look, look. Yeah, so what have we got? We've got, oh, yum, the berry compote with wholemeal shortbread. This is the Florentine. So this is, um, it's dark chocolate with cranberries and pumpkin seeds. 
banana bread with dates and hazelnuts and it comes with a little tea bag of afternoon tea. We've got Grace's lightly salted popping corn. And oh my, it's two layers. It's two, it's a double layered Grace box and it's not in focus. Be in focus. The next one we've got is the summer berry flapjack. The mango chutney with black pepper dippers. Basil and garlic pitted olives. That's random, because I hate olives. <laughs> Maybe I've accidentally set that one on my Grey's profile to like. Dun 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 This is the Grey's brownie. The better for you brownie. So it's like a brownie, but it's good for you. Thank you so much Grey's. If any of you are watching this, particularly Sophie, I love you all a lot and you're fab, fabby, fab, fab. And yeah. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day, Grace. Then, the next thing and the last thing that has arrived is another thing from Coconut Lane. I showed you the jewellery I got the other day. So, why is my camera not auto-focusing today? That's really annoying. Um, so this is a print and it is quite possibly the greatest thing in the whole world. Wait until you see it. Get out. Get out. Get out. Look at that. Look at it. You go, Glen Coco. Thanks, Coconut Lane. I will. I will go, Glen Coco. Good morning, or should I say afternoon? It's about half past twelve now. Um, it's Sunday and it's Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day, everybody. And we are currently taking blog photos. As you can probably see, Joe's just gone for a shower. I really need a shower. My hair is disgusting. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to do that when we get to the hotel um, because we are celebrating Valentine's Day this evening. Oh, what's my lens? Hang on. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're celebrating Valentine's Day today and it's our anniversary tomorrow. So um, we're going to a nice hotel in Leeds this afternoon and then we're going out for a tea. So it should be really, really lovely. Um, I'll take you along. Opf. Opf. And um, yeah, I was going to say something. I, I know. When I opened my coconut lane parcel, yes. Yesterday, was it? Was it yesterday? I feel like it was yesterday. Um, the You Go Glen Coco thing. There was something else in there and I've only just seen it. And look, it's like little earrings but they're shaped like crowns. They're upside down because of the way they hang. They should be that way up. But how cool are they? Little crown earrings. I think they're like new or something maybe? I haven't seen them before, so yeah, how lovely. Crown earrings to go with my crown ring. Very exciting. So yeah, I'm gonna need to take some more blog photos. And then we're gonna be leaving in about an hour and a half. So I'm just gonna quickly run some dry shampoo through my hair and go like this, because <laughs> I have my eyelashes on, so I don't need to put mascara on. Um, and like I said, I'm on the show when I get there, so. Fab, 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 fab. We've had pancakes this morning. <laughs> Because I am the queen of pancake making and they were very, very nice. Um, yeah, I'm really excited for today and tomorrow. Yay! Hello, 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 hello. We're in the hotel now. We've just checked in. Oh, well, we haven't. We've checked in and taken all our photos. Um, because we didn't want to like ruin the room. <laughs> so we had to get all our photos ready. So I'm going to show you around a little. The room itself is absolutely flipping huge. Like, look at those high ceilings. Joe's put his robe on already. Robe. Priorities. <laughs> um, yeah, look how massive the room is. And we've got rose petals on the bed. Excuse the mess on the bed, that's from where I've been sat on it. <laughs> um, rose petals on the bed. We've got the bathroom's gorgeous. Hello, it's me. Hello, hello, hello. I'm wearing my leather leggings as per. Um, we've got all lots of tan products. We've got some massage oil and some bath salts and robes. Yes. I love it when I give you robes. Just so there is robes. And we've got this. We've got this look. Champagne, strawberries, chocolate. It's absolutely amazing. I'm like well super impressed. Cheers. Cheers, babe. Happy Good Valentine's Day. Oh yeah, happy Valentine'sary. Yay! So yeah, happy Valentine'sary. Me and Joe. Here's the shampoos. We're gonna be hammered. I'm gonna go get in the shower. Evening everybody! Um, so I'm in my robe because I'm all comfy and this robe is lovely. Like I really love hotel dressing gowns, they're all right 
padded. Does that make sense? Padded? Um, so we've been for our meal. I was gonna vlog it, but I kind of didn't want to. I kind of wanted to just spend the evening just me and Joe. All being like, Joe's in bed, if you can see. He's all cosy. It is literally the comfiest bed in the whole world. It's amazing. Um, so we've been to Pinchero, which is a Spanish restaurant in Leeds, and it was absolutely gorgeous. Um, uh, <laughs> you look at him, his little head. <coughs> I knew it would be good, but bloody hell, it was amazing. You look so funny on camera, like the little head just popping out of the white sheets. You can see, you can totally see. I can't see it though. I can. <laughs> anyway, it was lovely. I'm gonna sit on the end of the bed so Joe can have input if he wants it. Um, it, was, it was absolutely gorgeous. And then we went to the Turk's Head, which I wrote about a few weeks ago. So I will leave the link to that in the description box. Um, it's gorgeous. White Locks is Leeds oldest oh, pub. Good. It um, turned 300 last year. In December. Yeah, so it's really lovely. And the function room has now been turned into another bar. So um, yeah, it's just really lovely. So we had some GTs and it was just gorgeous. It's a lovely atmosphere. So we've had a really lovely night celebrating Valentine's Day. And then it's our anniversary tomorrow. So we're both very, very excited. Um, and it's Sunday evening, so I'm going to end the vlog here. So thank you so, so much for watching. I hope this week's been more interesting than last week. I think last week was a little bit boring. Yeah, but last week's was still like half an hour long. Yeah, it was still a decent length, but I feel like I didn't really do very much. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed it a lot more than last week. Um, and I will see you for next week's vlog. I don't have a video going up this week because um, I didn't have time to film it. So I've just got vlogs. Um, so, yeah. Tough shit, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> um, so give us a subscribe if you haven't already. I'm trying to hit a thousand at the moment. And you know what I'm now? No, I don't know. It's 700 or something. I'm not far off 800 now. Really? Yeah. So, so it's pretty good. Um, so give us a subscribe if you haven't already. It will make my absolute life. And give this video a like. And I will see you for next week's vlog, um, which will start in the hotel tomorrow. Of, because we're going to celebrate our anniversary tomorrow. So, yay. yay! We're gonna go into Leeds for some lunch and just have a nice day, aren't we? So, yeah, um, love you all, loads, and give us a subscribe and a like. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Bye, guys! Good evening, everybody. Um, it's Tuesday, Tuesday, it's Thursday. Why do you always do that? You always do the arms. Like, I am a bird. I don't know why. Why not? Good question.